I, uh, I've received your voice message. I uh, read the letter you sent to me. My concern now is that you are getting my children involved in to try and get me to come and see you. Now that I am here, what do you want to say to me? Welcome to our parent-teacher evening. <laughs> As you know, we've been having a lot of trouble getting our Samoan parents to come to these meetings. Uh, and that's why I wrote to you, I emailed you, and I also told Siona to make sure he tells you to come to this evening. So thank you very much. He's been here a couple of years, but this is the first time you've come. Um, very interested. What was it? What was the difference in our communication with you that made the difference? For me, it was the lecture. Oh, so it was the wording of the letter? There was something there that really caught me. Oh, well, what, what was it? It said on the letter that there will be an afternoon tea. <laughs> well, yes, we will have an afternoon tea, but, but the afternoon tea is after our meeting. Oh. After the meeting? After the meeting. So you want me to go and then come back? Or? No, 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 no. I think it's, it's, it's the ideal opportunity you're here now. So we might as well talk about how Sione is getting on in class. How, how is Sione enjoying school this year? Oh. <coughs> uh, Sione is really uh, quite uh, really proud of this school. He wears this uniform with a lot of pride. He said that just being part of this great educational institution really make him to want to achieve a higher academic uh, goals. <laughs> and he believes he can do this because he has the best teacher, of course, which is yourself. <laughs> so I think he's very happy to be here. Yeah. Is our meeting finished now? Or? <laughs> well, not quite yet. So I, I think Shione might, might, might be showing you the brighter side of school. We've been having some concerns about Siona. He hasn't been finishing his maths homework. Oh, that's his mother's fault. <laughs> yeah. She does the maths for, uh, for him. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is... This okay. Is, well, I don't think we can blame his mother exactly. Um, for me, I think part of the problem is, is the company he's keeping in class. Is she right? Yes. He is only 12 years old, and he's got his own company in the class. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always knew my son, he had, you know, he's, a, he's, he's, he's quite entre he's good with the business, you know. <laughs> he's like his dad, you know. Yeah, it's a tip of the old um, things. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm proud of him. No, it's his friends. His... Ah, so it's his friend's company. <laughs> I should have known my son's a stupid fool, you know. <laughs> No, he's like his mum, you know? No, no, no. His friends are a bad influence on him. How, how can they be bad influence if they own their own company? Okay, well, what perhaps you... this brings us to the next point. His, his, his reading comprehension is, is not as good as it should be. I should have known. I should have known what that word comprehension means. What's, what's, our, what's our comprehension? Understanding? That's why I'm asking. <laughs> comprehension is understanding. Look, if you can't tell me what it means, no wonder why my son is confused and you don't even know the difference from compensation and um, that thing. Comprehension yeah. is looking at a sentence, not just understanding the individual words, but taking all the words in context. That's comprehension. Comprehension? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. 
Excuse me, uh, what's the time on your, on your watch, please? Uh, it's five past five. Do you need to be somewhere else? No, no, I'm saying because it's getting light. If it gets light, we're going to have dinner here as well? I just don't want to miss the afternoon tea, you know? Listen, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to put this out there. I'm just going to have to be straight with you. Uh, it's the first time you've come to one of these meetings, and all you're concerned about is the afternoon tea. Now, for me as a teacher, it's of real concern that you're more concerned about eating than you are about your son's education. Is that right? Well, I'm sorry. I, th I think it's important for me just to be straight up. Uh, okay, okay. You want to be straight up? Uh, yes, I, I think it's sometimes you do have yeah, to be straight yeah, up. Yeah, no, do it, do it. Uh, well, I've, I've said it. I'm more concerned. I'm concerned that you're not here concerned about Sony's education. Okay, because you were straight up to me, I'm going to be straight up to you. Why are you complaining to me about my son's behavior in your class? during your time. <laughs> huh? That's your fault. <laughs> How you expect me to go in working over there and look after his behavior over here? <laughs> huh? Because my son at home, he's behaving excellent. <laughs> because he knows the consequence. He knows if he misbehaves, he gets smacked. I hope I didn't just hear you say you still smack your son. Hey, hey not just me, his mom as well. <laughs> and when he gives us a hard time, we work double shift, we are tired, sometimes we double team on him. So if you can't control him here, I send him one week some more, come back, perfect. Listen, I think sending Siona to Samoa is a bit of an overreaction. Oh, what, now he's a good boy now? Well, his behavior is not bad. It's not as bad as some others. <sighs> is our meeting finished, please? Yes, yes, the meeting's finished now. Thank you. Oh, lucky. <laughs> lucky I pulled my plate. You've just brought a plate with no food on it. <laughs> the letter my son was given to me. Yes. It clearly states, please bring our plate for our afternoon tea. Bring our plate. Comprehension? Comprehension? <laughs> Please bring our plate for our afternoon tea. You're supposed to put food on that. Ah, uh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Lucky I brought two plates. Oh, will your wife be joining us? No, if she was coming, I'd have to bring a tray. 